In today's video, we will be recruiting the best faction full of HCF players. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. We are on mizoid.kscraft.org. If you guys do want to hop on and play some Skyblock alongside me, I'm inviting so many people from the HF community, or just from my viewers, obviously, uh, to join my island. Okay, we're starting off today by actually building up our squad with only HCF players for the most part. So I'm excited to do it. It's going to be fun. But yeah, guys, this is the Skyblock, my brand new partnership that I've, you know, arranged with the server. I know the owner and... Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Again, I say this every time I kind of swap to a new server or leave a server, but pretty much partnerships is the reason I can keep going on YouTube every single year. Like I've been going for so long now. I have like, bro, I have like 2,500 videos. Like it gets to a point where you're doing a lot, okay? So I've been doing this for so long. It's only made possible by you guys supporting the servers that I partner with, as well as just supporting my channel and the servers I own, obviously. So I really appreciate it. And if you guys do want to hop on this server and support me, all you got to do is join my IP, mizo.kscraft.org. That's all I ask. It'll keep me going, and I appreciate it more than you guys know. Anyways, yeah, it is the second episode of the Skyblock series. Okay, so I'm excited. We learned a little bit about the server in the first episode, kind of the most we could. Um, and today, we're going to be starting off by opening up the monthly crates like we did last video, as well as the summer vault. Okay, so last video, we kind of learned uh, more about like the safe, the upgrades with the sky base. We built a little sky or a little freaking uh, sugarcane farm. We have the harvester tool. We have a lot of stuff to do today. Um, kind of need to expand and learn a little bit more about the meta. But yeah, we do need to recruit. IS top is looking about 2.4 million value, which which uh, we have 2.7 thousand, so we're quite a ways away, but I actually do want to compete up there, um, at least on the leaderboard to the top 10 would be amazing, like 350k, we could do that, a duo has that guys, okay, we need to build up there, so again, um, I did see some comments in my last video for the IGNs, I'm going to be looking for those players online right now, hopefully inviting them, I could probably just pop a couple invites out as well. All right, so first thing I want to do before we start inviting people, I need to make a chest room. I'm kind of tired of like having stuff sorted away randomly. I need to organize stuff. So I'm going to break down this wall, build out this way, and kind of make a nice chest room right behind our spawn point. I think that'll be nice. All right, the legendary freaking chest room it looks amazing is being built. We got the first layer done. We have also one of our first recruits, Zip Your Nose, is here, the HCF player, obviously. If we do IS, we also have Scoffings in here, both as co-leaders, so they can invite their HCF friends as well. So if you guys are friends with them, go ahead and ask them if you want to uh, play along alongside us but yeah this is what the <laughs> the chest room is gonna look like nothing crazy i just thought you know maybe we'll do some sort of circular design i always end up doing that on like a skyblock server so i'll build this up and then add some more chests and we'll probably like organize it a little bit all right well everything is pretty much sorted now the only thing isn't is, is just this is still in there because uh, i think zip is actually going to make a grinder later so what i'm going to be doing opening up our pouches then we'll open up the crates that we said we would and we'll just get all this sorted out all righty that's done okay we'll open up the three summer crates here go ahead there goes one there goes two, and there goes three. Let's do all three of them at once, and let's just hope for the best. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got some uh, some armor, some more silver pouches, some IGs, 35 IGs. Not bad at all. 10 magma cubes as well. I somehow had ocelot spawners. Don't know how, um, but I think that's the best spawner on the server. Everyone is claiming that I got bad loot, so I guess that's not good. But uh, we, we got some pouches, extra large silver pouch, extra large EXP, extra large money. All right, let's get that going. Looks like our island upgrade has complete, um, so, or completed, sorry. We, we got to keep upgrading our chest size, though. 10 mil, really? 10 freaking mil for this. Okay, whatever. We'll do it because we need to get it for the sky based crystal. We should probably just keep working on all of these and just like slowly go up. Um, 250 mil for that one. That's crazy. All right, so I'm talking to the chat now to see like what is, uh, like what's the best way of getting silver? They're all saying the gambler enchant is the best, but without that, like, which you need silver to buy the gambler enchant in order to get silver. So they're saying if before that you're kind of screwed, you either do adventures, which we were doing in the first video, or, um, you open up like keys that you get throughout the game mode. So, um, obviously I have silver right now, so we're, we're ahead of the game, but I just want to like to ask for my own faction's sake. All right, let's go ahead and I guess we'll, we'll investigate the harvester tool then. All right, so the gambler enchant level 100 for a thousand two hundred fifty silver does it it does increase okay i'm honestly i can keep doing this but this is probably going to drain us quick but i think it's going to be the best way to go about it um wow yeah it's getting up to a, like eleven thousand each one they're saying to do pumpkins as well i don't know why you'd want to do pumpkins um but i mean i guess we should do this this also gives you like a bunch of other stuff like spawners and stuff from what i've heard increased block break speed okay we'll get a couple in that that might be useless get in, gain more crops um we'll get a couple of those double drop whatever haste okay we'll get some in there investor sure we'll do that destruction random chance of breaking blocks in a five by five sure um but i think the main thing is gambler all right we just wasted not wasted we spent all of our silver on upgrading slightly with our upgrades well the auto sell is working we just saw it um 
And I just picked it up and it instantly sold everything. So I wish it went straight into my inventory. So I think we do actually, oh yeah, we do need to get the toggles for auto pickup. Do we even have, an, oh, we do have enough for that. There we go. Okay, that's enabled now. So I think when we mine it, it goes straight into our inventory. Oh yeah, that's way, way better. And that way, um, the auto sell will just do it whenever we want. But we are out of silver now, pretty much only have 300. Definitely are going to need some bigger farms though, because this is already gone. We need to get a massive sugarcane farm if we want to keep farming this. All right, the chest upgrade finished. Let's go ahead and pop another one in there. 25 mil for this, but it's okay. Oh, we need... Dude, we have to buy... The frickin'... There's just requirement, requirement, requirement. We're not even doing the thing that we want to do, but we're doing the thing that we have to do in order to do the thing we want to do. Now we have to do another thing we want to do or don't want to... That's just too much requirements. All right, let's go ahead. That's done now. IS upgrade. We can go ahead and do the chest size. I think... I don't honestly have not been... What the heck? Why can I not do it? IS bank deposit. Let's just do 50 mil. Okay, there we go. We're, we're doing it for the team. IS upgrade. Go ahead, pop that open. Good. Okay, 15 minutes for this one. And then we can finally upgrade to the ruby crystals, which it's going to be like that for a lot of things, I feel like. All right, that upgrade's finally done. We can do these sky based crystals now. I wonder what the next requirements are for this, but go ahead and start that. So that's going to take one hour. Looks like we have a sign from Tune. Don't know who that is or how they place us here. Probably staff. So thank you. Anyways, guys. We are also inviting Bambi. You guys know Bambi. He's going to be joining us and uploading on here as well. Um, he already has uploaded here in the past. He just ha He's not going to be able to get on tonight, so I don't know if it's going to be my video, but he is going to be joining us. So I just invite Bambi. Let's see if that goes through. It does go through. Okay, Bambi's going to be joining us. And so far, we have Dauntism, Scoffings, Zip Your Nose, and myself. All right, guys. I am at Covey's Island right now. This guy's got my crown on. He's a you know big supporter. Appreciate it. So he's showing me all these farms and like what I can be doing for metas. So he has like a lot of strategies. Like we're looking at this thing right here. Look at this. This is a massive melon farm. Apparently melons are the meta. I don't know if sugarcane is the meta, but um, I mean, they, they both might be pretty good. So I don't know why they have rails around it. I honestly, I don't know. Maybe when you max out your efficiency a lot, you can actually like one hit the melons. If you can, then that means maybe you could sit on a cart and just hold down left click. Oh, like this guy. Like who's like, okay. That is, uh, that's the meta right there. He's probably just holding down left click as he goes by them all. Oh, he's kind of missing them, bro. You're missing them, bro. You're missing. But yeah, it looks like magma cubes, IGs, uh, maybe ocelots as well. I just haven't, I don't know where I've seen them, but I, I swear people have said those are the best. Or those here. No, those are silver spawners. Yeah, I don't know. They've got a lot of stuff. We just got to make a lot of farms around the base. I mean, these guys even got like, um, yeah, it brings the iron all the way around to the end. Like, dude, look at all this. Like, that's a massive amount of storage. So, yeah, it really is kind of like vanilla-y skyblock style on here, which I'm not super used to, but we can definitely we can definitely do ourselves. Guys, well, Bambi says, um, unfortunately, his PC locks due to parental controls at midnight every night, so he's unable to log on here. But he did send us a voice message here. Let's go ahead and play it. Yo, what's up, Mesoid fans? Uh, this is me, Bambi, and, um, yep, yeah, I joined the island. Woo! Thank you, Bambi. So Bambi did join the island. It goes with the, you know, the title, HCF team. Bambi's in there. All right, so I'm currently replicating their IG farm. I think I did a good job at it for the most part. Um, I don't really understand how the lava just flows forward and not to the side right here, but uh, we did it. Um, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how theirs is laid out. I took like, screenshots of it and stuff like that. This part is supposed to be like another layer of lava, like going sideways and stuff like that. Um, so we're almost done. We're making progress. This right here will be the magma cube farm. So we're kind of setting up exactly like they have it. I think they are um one of the top islands which one are they they're number five okay so they're number five at the moment so i mean i'd say it's safe to say that we could trust uh their layouts because they had i mean they had a lot of stuff there bro all right so this looks right you can see right here there's like you place on the water right there it all leads down to this two by two area which is where they get grinded out with lava so we are on the right track. I didn't mess up any dimensions, which is good. Okay, I was actually making a mistake. You're supposed to go one layer down on the signs right here. So there's like another layer of like full lava. So this will allow us to complete like the whole lava mimicking of what they've done. Then it goes down into here into a two by two of lava, just like this. And then it goes into here, which this is actually supposed to be ice. So the uh, items move faster and the water leads out to their big hopper system. So we're almost done. All right, so I've perfectly modeled what they had as their lava. Now I just need to break these blocks. I, don't, I only put those there so the lava wouldn't like overrun or itself or anything like that but yeah that's good so um now the last thing we need to do is just make like the the hopper storage which we don't have to go super crazy right away because we don't have a lot of igs but this is going to work all right so pretty much it'll all lead into this chest which will then split in half but i don't know if it fills one side before the other or how it's going to work but um we did our best okay that's all that matters we tried our hardest and that is you know that's the name of the game 
All right, so we have about 75 IGs to place down. All right, that's more than I've had in, in years. Okay, let's place this right here. How much can we stack it? I guess we can just see how far it goes. Does it go? All, it probably goes pretty high. I don't remember what they had, to be honest. But, um, oh, it goes to 32. Okay, it goes to 32. We'll get this one to 32. And then we'll start another stack just to make it a little bit even here. And I think that's good. I hope it's spaced out like one on theirs. I honestly don't remember what they had. So yeah, pretty much it's just going to bring the IDs into the the lava and then it just it works. I think that's it. That's really all we did. Um, but it's the first time we set up a grinder on the server. So let's see, does it go into that one? Okay, yeah, a little bit of that one and nothing in this side. So maybe it fills one side before the other, which is kind of what it's looking like. So I guess it's kind of good, I guess. All right, I believe we have upgraded finally that we can support ruby crystals now. So let's go ahead and pop those in there. So now we have onyx, sapphire, and rubies. We're not really making a whole lot still off of this, but it's still, it's there. Who knows? Um, we could always get higher than that. If we go to eyes upgrade, I do want to update the cobble generator ores next. I kind of just want to start doing a little bit of everything. Um, and I think we can also do that so that we can, you know, work on our skills. Because our skills can level up as well. Our skills are pretty mediocre right now. Nothing crazy at all. Mining is our highest at level two, which is terrible. Um, honestly, in the meantime, we could also work on a melon farm. That melon farm does seem pretty OP. Or, I, honestly, I might as well just set up the magma cube farm as well. It's like right here. All right, magma cube spawners are placed. Appear to be working as well. I just need to... Wait a second. Oh, it makes sense now. It makes sense now why they had the little dispenser thing. Where the hell did the drops go? <sighs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, guys. I am uh, respectfully not going to be doing this right now. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe I put the hoppers like right here, like in between all the cactus. That would make sense, I think. And have them lead down. And then I could, maybe I could do it right now. Do I even have hoppers though? I think I'm out to be honest. Let's see. It's been a few minutes. Not like a few, but let's see how much, how much loot we have now. What? Oh, shoot. I forgot. <laughs> uh, eh, eh. Not that crazy, but let's see. If we sold all of it. What would it give us? Again, it hasn't been too long. That sold for 20k. I mean, maybe over time it would be good. I mean, we don't have a lot of spawners. All right, guys. Well, again, I am recruiting a lot of you guys. So go ahead and comment your IGN down below if you're playing. I know a lot of you guys commented on the previous one. But make sure you've logged on. And maybe if you're online and you see me online, ask to join. That would be a good way of getting in. Um, because I don't know if I can always invite offline players. So just make sure you've logged on. Comment your IGN down below. And um, yeah, let me know if you have been playing already. Because that would be like the best way of inviting you. I think I'm going to end it off right here. We did some progress with this. Kind of did some more stuff. Invited a bunch of members. Made some chest room. And opened up some loot. So I'm going to end it off right here. Again, I'm doing two videos a week on here right now so expect the next upload pretty soon so hopefully you guys can comment down below and i can invite more of you guys but yeah next episode should involve bambi probably some more strategy stuff because i know he's played this for a little bit longer than me but guys hop on the server at i'll see you guys in the next one peace out